I clap now. Yes. Yeah. My name is Jorge Reinders. I play saxophone, uh, alto saxophone mainly, but also soprano saxophone. And then in the band we have my brother on drums. Um, we have Timothy Pedone, that's the guitar player, electric guitar. And then there is um, Andy Willems on keys. And we have normally Ozan Bozak on bass for this showcase. He will be replaced with uh, Roman Korolik. We uh, met in the conservatory in Maastricht when we were studying there, so that was already, we, we both had some years of experience on our instrument. I'm not sure when uh, Timothy started, uh, I started when I was seven, so I did first the normal uh, music school here in Belgium and then I went to, to Maastricht in the Netherlands and there we actually met um, for the first time. Yes, um, the Sharp 11 part, that's actually where I do uh, all my music projects under that name. So I had a jam session when I was studying at the conservatory in Maastricht um, and that was called the Sharp 11 Quartet. It was more of a jazz with a acoustic vibe to it. So when, the, when I um, wanted to, uh, to make this more electric thing a bit more jazz rock jazz funk um i added the electric band part to it but it's also a little hint to one of my favorite bands which is the chicory electric band well, what i just mentioned the chicory electric band had a, a a very very big influence on uh on me as a musician as a saxophonist as a composer and also for this band uh, then you have also uh, the Brecker Brothers, that's also a fusion band from back in the day, 70s, and they had a comeback in the 90s. And probably also as a third, the Dave Weckl band, that's all jazz, funk, jazz, rock oriented. You know, jazz doesn't usually have that much of a big of a audience if you just go out and play. So one of the ways to kind of spread the word was through educational material that me and Timothy both put on a YouTube channel which people really seem to love and then we started com combining it with our own music so now when we finally released this first album we actually had an audience to to release it to as we we finally we took um, almost five years to to finish the first album which was beginning of 2020 and then we wanted to start playing with it and the you know the covid pandemic happened so that was a bit of a bad timing so we did one um one uh, live stream concert which was really cool which we could really uh, use also on the youtube channel but now it's really time to to hopefully do a longer series with the first album which is kind of in a two-year delay but i'm really looking forward to to finally perform the music in front of an audience at this moment actually first getting the music from 2020 out but simultaneously we are working on a couple of new tunes not directly a new album but because of the the uh, YouTube channel and also the way music works probably at least two singles that will be released this year in 2022 What I know it's kind of the first time that we have something in this area that's that does what Motus for Jazz does now with this showcase There are so many bands uh, great bands. I, I looked at the building and it's it's great to have this kind of platform i also really love uh, i've been here uh, now two times before also for this live stream but uh, this new building they have i know also the old building is really amazing uh, all the all the parts from the musa cafe to the real uh, big uh, room for concerts they are all so beautiful very beautifully renovated so it's the perfect location um, to do yeah to do this showcase festival <laughs> <laughs>